Hi guys! Welcome to my channel Pretzel Cosplay and today I want to show you how I made the Warblast skull for my Xaya cosplay. It is a skull that is sitting on the shoulder of the cosplay so I needed it to be not too heavy so I decided to make it hollow. How did I do that? <laughs> well, stay tuned and watch this video if you want to know how I did that. Uh, learn more about crafting with Warbla by buying my book and also be sure to check out my ebooks. You can find very detailed tutorial books in my webshop. And my digital patterns. These digital patterns can help you to make your own costumes. <laughs> so let's start the tutorial and make a Xaya skull together. The first thing you need to do is take two pieces of warbler. It doesn't really matter which color, but I used the regular brown warbler here. Um, then heat both pieces up so they will get sticky and flexible and then put them on top of each other so you get a thicker layer. This will actually help because we have to stretch out the warbler a lot and warbler can tear easily if it's only one layer. So that's why we are using two layers. And just heat it up until it is nice and smooth and soft. And then I take my, my skull that I made with air drying clay and put some vaselin on it. Because otherwise the warbler would stick to it. And we need to get it off again. When the warbler is warm, you can actually stretch it. And that is really handy when you want to make a 3D hollow shape like this one. Of course, you need to be careful because you don't want to tear it apart and create holes. So here you see how I just keep shaping it and stretching it until the shape of the bird's skull really shows. Sometimes I have too much material on the sides. Then I heat it up and cut it off and then smooth the seam. So you don't really see it anymore. But with a skull it is like a organic shape. So you don't really have to hide the seams perfectly. Because a real skull could have this too. And then I just keep shaping it and keep heating it in between so it will stay flexible. I cut off the edges so I will have a straight edge at the bottom of the skull. The bird skull also needs some eye sockets. So I heat up the parts where the eyes are and I use a knife to cut it open. I have to be careful because if the warbler is hot you can, um, you can distort it and you don't want that. Always be careful <laughs> when crafting. And then I just take it off and there is the eye socket. Repeat this on the other side. So it has two eyes. Voila! After cutting out the eyes, I let it cool down again. And then it's time to cut it open to remove it from the clay. So I heat up the back. And then I use the same knife again to cut it open and do some open brain surgery. No, just kidding. This bird has no brains. And then just cut it open. And remove it from the clay. This is why I added the Vaseline in the first place. Because if I didn't do this, I couldn't remove it from the clay this easily. It would really stick to it. And now the skull is hollow, as you can see. So now we still need to close the gap again. And to do that, I'm heating it up again so it will get sticky again. 
and then just put it together and add a little bit of pressure so that the bond will form. I also use the table to make the connection uh, nicely, nice and smooth. The eye sockets still look a little bit rough at this time, so I'm going to change that now. So I heat it up again, only the eyes because otherwise it will distort the whole shape of the skull. And then I'm just pushing it gently, so I will create some extra shape in it, and it will soften the edge. I also do this on the top of the eye. This way it just looks more natural and yeah, just better. <laughs> and that was actually the last thing. Now the crafting of the skull is done. So next step is painting the skull. First I use two layers of wood glue or PVA primer. Then I painted it with some black spray paint to get a nice black shadow color. I used the same paint for the feather daggers, you see them here with the skull. And then I used some white oil paint to create a really nice old look on the skull. And I also used a little bit of dark brown acrylic paint to create some nice swirls on the back of the skull. You can see the swirls on this photo. And then I added some spray uh, varnish to really protect the paint and then it was done. And to finish it for wearing it with the costume I made a rope with fabric and some felt feathers. So that's how I made the Warbla skull for Xaya. Uh, I hope you liked the technique and I also hope that you can use it in your own projects. So do you already have an idea how you're going to use this technique in your own projects? Let me know in the comments below. I'm really curious to hear. So thank you, thank you, thank you very much for watching this video and I hope to see you in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you will know when the next video is uploaded. If you like my work and you want to help me to create more costumes and more tutorials and more videos, then feel free to support me on Patreon. The link is in the description. Thank you so, so much. Bye-bye, <laughs> see you.